According to the ancient Egyptian texts, the snake Abophis existed since eternity, since the beginning of the creation of the universe. He represents evilness and the unbalance of the universe. His defeat was inevitable and he was expelled by the god in his various images. Therefore, he became the most vicious enemy of the sun god and he ambushed his daily journey. In the text he was described as the terminated as a description of his being defeated and finished daily. In a text from the tomb of Nacht of the 18th dynasty in the west bank of Luxor, there is a call addressed to Gajra, the sun god, in his journey. It says, cross the horizon and may your heart be merry and you become safe. For the serpent Sebi, which is a name of description of the snake Abophis, has fallen. His hands are tied and cut by the knife which he had prepared. The oldest reference of serpent Abophis goes back to the first intermediate period and came in a text in the tomb of the ruler Anhtifi. And he appeared clearly in the texts of the coffins in the period of the Middle Kingdom as an enemy of the sun god and an attacker of his daily bark. It was a segment number 414 from the coffin's texts that was headed by the name The Expel of Abufis from the Sun Boat and it talked about pushing away the evilness of Abufis. The text says This is a spell to push the serpent Abib away from the bark of Ra. Look the flame came out of the sky and entered into the cave of Sibi the rebellious. He will rebel against Ra and remove the flames of fire. He will be severely restrained by the gods. God Ra, you will be protected. In the New Kingdom books of the Netherworld, Abu Fis appeared with different names, especially in the Book of the Dead and the Emid Wat. 